we're always looking at all of those technologies and certainly the way a lot of technology emerges in the sky is on the ground first. And so we're watching very closely what goes on with the driverless cars. Um, I, I do believe that it will be something that is pervasive in 2020, 2025 for sure. And we'll start to see it. And so I don't think it'll come quickly thereafter because it's back to very complicated with political and air traffic control and, and you know military fly space and all of those things that complicate it. But it will um, be something that will be, I'm hoping in my lifetime, depends on how long I live, but um, it will be something that we will see. For sure, I think we'll see it in the um, cargo market first because people don't seem to worry as much about packages as they do about people, So, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but I do think a lot of those learnings are going to happen on the ground first, and then we'll it'll carry into the air. Yeah, well, it already exists in the air. The drones, the military drones, are nothing more than pilots of aircraft. The problem is trying to persuade regulators and you know our friends in Congress and the American Pilots Union and all the other pilot unions. This is a good thing. They'll be out there whining on about safety. That yeah, despite the fact that 65% of all air accidents are generally pilots that are the pilots are at fault. The irony of irony is that that's an issue in the industry as well, uh, lack of pilots. So it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it would help solve the problem. The problem with the industry is pilot boredom. The technology is now so good, they're not actually anymore flying the aircraft. And so the challenge for the industry, which is why OFDM and SOP are so important, is actually they are bright people, but generally do a very boring, repetitive task. And that's where you get mistakes get made. So it's how you keep them entertained without having them all on uh, PlayStations or something. <laughs> <laughs>